I want to read you the story of my Aunt Anne and the Nazis, as written by my grandfather, Joseph Buckwhites. My name is Joseph Buckwhites. I am Annie's only brother and the youngest of all siblings. We were ten children. Annie was third in line. Besides me were two younger sisters. The Nazis killed my parents and five of our other siblings. And by a miracle, the five of us survived, including Annie. Annie survived the very famous death march from Schuthoff concentration camp. It was a miracle. The ghetto in Lodz, Poland in 1944 was liquidated, and the rest of the Jewish population was sent to Auschwitz. And Anne and my sister Sarah were sent to Schuthoff concentration camp. In January 1945, the Red Army was getting closer to the Schuthoff camp. So the camp administration decided to send their prisoners on a death march to Danzig by the Baltic Sea, which was 34 kilometers from camp. They wanted to put them on barges and dump them into the sea. Annie was walking together with her sister Sarah. After a certain time walking, Sarah was not able to walk anymore and fell. As soon as the guard noticed her falling, he shot her and demanded everybody continue walking. The weather was incredibly cold. Most people had no shoes, including Annie. She had frostbite from walking in the snow. A few hours after many days of walking, they stopped in an open field near a farm just overnight. Annie noticed a barn, and she went in there and covered herself with straw and fell asleep. Her feet were frozen, and some of her toes had fallen off. The next morning, the guards started calling everyone to continue to walk, but Annie decided not to show up and stay hidden where she was. She knew that she would not be able to walk and that she would be shot just like her sister was. And so somehow the guards weren't looking for her, and they went away without her. A few hours later, the peasant's daughter came to get some straw for the animals. And she noticed Annie and screamed and called to her father, telling her there was a Jewess hidden in the straw. Her father quieted her down and said that Jesus was also a Jew. He picked up Annie like a child because that's what she looked like then. He took her into the house. She was very skinny and small. When he saw her toes, he was concerned. And then the next day, he called a doctor from the German army. The peasant said this was his niece who came from far away. And because of the cold weather, her feet froze. Annie had said later that she felt the doctor for sure suspected that she was Jewish, but did not make an issue. He looked at her toes and worked on them and left medications and instructions what to do. In the peasant's house, Annie felt welcomed, and she recuperated quickly. Feeling better, she started to help out in the house with different tasks. They liked her a lot, and she appreciated what they did for her. And that is the story of how my Aunt Anne lost her toes. Thank you. And never, never again. And never, never again. And never, never again.